Assalamu alaikum. My name is Imra Ayaz and I'm a student of final year evening faculty of pharmacy Hamdard University. This video assignment is based on a topic that is explain the terms of spurious and counterfeit drugs mentioned in the Drugs Act 1976. So what are counterfeit drugs? Counterfeit is all about drug label and its packaging. A medical product is said to be counterfeit when there is a false or fake representation in relation to its identity or source. This applies to its container or other packaging or labeling information. Counterfeiting can apply to both branded and generic products. Counterfeiting medication is very profitable for criminals. They take advantage of the good reputation of products and brands that the original manufacturer established through its consistently high quality products. Fraudsters are only interested in producing what look like an exact copy and do not care about the quality and effectiveness of the contents. Medicines are used to treat diseases and to promote health. That is not important to counterfeiters. They are not interested in providing patients with a medicine that is equivalent to the original product even if a fake drug contains certain active ingredients these medicines have a lower quality or quantity of the substance counterfeiting is all about deceiving the label or outer packaging of a drug with another manufacturer for example if abc company manufactures a drug and they are deceiving their patients or consumers by mimic or copy the label of xyz company as you can see in this picture, these both labels are so similar that you can't distinguish that which drug, which label is authentic or not. Now moving towards our second term that is spurious drugs. Spurious drugs are those drugs that is manufactured under a name which belongs to another drug or if it is an imitation of another drug or if it has been substituted wholly or partly by another drug or maybe the drug claims to be it contains active pharmaceutical ingredient but actually it doesn't contain or if it wrongly claims to be the product of another multinational pharmaceutical company. According to Drug Act 1976 under Clause ZP, according to Subclause 1, that drug claims to be that it contains the active pharmaceutical ingredient but actually it doesn't contain or maybe it is a placebo. Under subclause 2, the product claimed to be of a manufacturer, place or a country of which it is not, not truly a product or which it doesn't belong to. According to subclause 3, the drug which is imported or exported under a particular name while actually it is another drug. According to subclause 4, the label which contains the name of an individual or a manufacturing company which doesn't really exist or maybe it is a fictitious. In the end, I want to say that the incidence of spurious and counterfeit drugs can be reduced by using GS1 data matrix 2D barcode. The practice to make spurious and counterfeit drugs is a crime. If any person commit this crime, so, according to Clause A of Section 27 of Drug Act 1976, export, import, manufacture for sale or sales any spurious drug or any drug which is not registered shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which shall not be less than 3 years or more than 10 years. I, I hope you will like my video. Thank you so much.